J.B. Lindquist, Hedinger Airport manager and aviation business owner, has spent over two and a half years airborne, has sprayed thousands of acres, has earned the FAA Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award for 50 years of safe flight operations. And now, the North Dakota Aviation Hall of Fame formally recognizes his work and contribution. While this prestigious honor is lavished on J.B. for his many achievements, it's his eternal boyhood wonder, his blazing enthusiastic spirit, his pure love of flying that truly captures the heart of an aviator. It's always been fun. I mean, that's, I mean, aviation, that's a fun thing. I've seen so many, many beautiful things while flying, and I've met an awful lot of nice people. It's just flying the airplane. It is a lot of fun. I've always enjoyed it from the very first plane ride I had. Because he loves what he does. He hasn't worked a day in his life. <laughs> it's just, even when he comes in tired, he's had a good day. I love flying because it's an environment with which you get to see a lot of different things. On the ground, you're not privy to the different sights and sounds that you get in the air. And so flying to me is a, is a, it's almost like a sixth sense, is that uh, you get to get up and look over things and see it from a totally different perspective. The sunrises, the sunsets, the colors, the hues, the looks of the trees, the looks of the water, just everything in general from the air gives you a better view of things. And that itself is just real enjoyable. And of course the other thing is that I enjoy flying because it's a piece of machinery that uh, is fun to operate. And just remember, I always tell everybody in a vehicle, when you're going down the road, you have two choices. You can go left or right or you can stop. But in an airplane, you can go left or right or you can go up or down. And that's really fun. There's that guy right there. I think he was about six years old then. JB's passion for aircraft was initially teased by the thought, the thrill, the possibilities. I guess maybe I had this, this interest in aviation to start with. My first airplane ride was in about 1956. Uh, I was on this airport in a champ. There was a guy who was a crop sprayer here and I said, hey, uh, what does it cost to go for an airplane ride? And he said, well, I'll give you an airplane ride for free. And I said, okay, that sounds like a really good deal. And so, and he said, I'll even do one better. He says, I'll put you in the front seat where you're supposed to fly from. And I said, that sounded even better. And so we taxied on down and I'm glad he couldn't see me because I was kind of in between grinning and crying and happy as could be. I still remember the sights and sounds of that 85 Champ chattering down the runway and the noise it made. And I had so much fun that I came back the next day and I said, hey, what do you charge me to go fly? He says, this year, today it'll cost you $2. I said, okay, let's go. And uh, I would pretty well decided that that's what I wanted to do. That's kind of how I started flying, is that uh, I came out, I cleaned airplanes, I swamped the floors, I, I hauled out the trash and slowly kept going and got my flying time and uh, I'm still hauling the garbage out. <laughs> In 1956, when J.B. was 15, those possibilities still called to him, encouraged him to pursue the experience of flight, which quickly became more than a vocation. It became part of his life. After completing his Army service as an air traffic controller in 1965, J.B. could have taken the route to work on the big airplanes. But he chose to return to the community and the airport where he first tasted flight. Here in Hedinger, he has not only established his business, but he has fully contributed to the heartbeat of the community. The area 
trail application for me has got to be one of the most fun things there is. You really, it's a one-on-one -on -one thing between you and the airplane and the environment you're dealing in. I kind of chuckle once in a while, I'll give my airline pilots a bad, bad time about saying as well, you get so high that you end up with nosebleeds and you can't really see what's going on. But if you come down where I operate, uh, you usually can get a pretty good view of things and, and the action is always there. Uh, you're whipping across the field at 110 or 120 mile an hour. In some of the newer airplanes now, it's up around 140, 150, and uh, you're busy. You're, you're always moving something on the airplane. You're always trying to make sure you're headed in the right direction, you're doing the right thing. And so from the standpoint of spraying, it's a constant change. There's never a dull moment. And I don't think that I can be in business out here in aviation and not participate and help the rest of the community. And if that help requires me to be part of the JCs or the Chamber of Commerce or any of the other social or semi-business organizations within the city of Hedinger, then so be it. I think it's my obligation to do this because it's all part of what you are in being in a small town in Hedinger, North Dakota. You can't stand by yourself in a business. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're selling shoes or flying airplanes. Is when you're in a small town in these areas, you have to participate and be in the big picture of it. And not only that, hey, let's be realistic. It gives you, it makes connections. You get to meet a lot of people and it will help with your business. JB is Hall of Fame worthy because he fits the, the goal and a definition of what the North Dakota Hall of Fame was created for and that was to honor aviators who have contributed to aviation in North Dakota along with supporting their communities and and uh, being actively involved in a community leader. JB's that kind of guy, he fits that definition. Active in his community on different boards, bank boards, church boards, school boards, that's the kind of people that, that the Hall of Fame was designed for. JB has been uh, number one and uh, really does a lot of things for uh, general aviation and the public and is, uh, deserves the Hall of Fame award uh, very much. Service to this community is not drudgery. Nothing in JB's life is. But one of his most enjoyable commitments involves some of the youngest citizens. For the past 35 years, he has made sure that every first grade student in Hedinger receives a free airplane ride. Oh, the first graders, that's, that's a ball. That's a ball. <laughs> that is so much fun. I look forward to that every year. I went to the school one time and I said, hey, you looking for a, a, a project in May, you know, the, the kids are looking forward to being out on vacation and there sometimes it's a nice warm day in May and they're not really wishing they were inside, they were wishing they were outside somewhere. And I went to the teachers years ago and I said, hey, how would you like it if I give all the first graders a free airplane ride? And they said, oh, that would be great. The, he takes them down to see the lake, they go down to see the school the hospital, they come back so excited. And they just are jumping up and down. They cannot say enough about it. The parents have talked to me about how much fun their, their child has when they go on the plane ride. They totally just love it. There is no problem in the kids sitting down and writing a thank you to JB because they just go on and on and on about what they saw, how little everything looked. Their excitement just starts all over again when they're writing a letter. Oh, good thing we didn't crash. Oh, I thought we were going to crash. Or, oh, you really, you really showed me where things were going. And what I would do with boys once in a while, if I had four boys that were kind of noisy, I'd say, hey, you guys want to know what an astronaut feels like? And they kind of look at each other and they say, yeah. I'd say, okay, here we go, hang on now. And sometimes I'd make them hold a pen in their hand or just have them sit there and I would pull the airplane up and then drop the nose over and then you become weightless and you get the feeling of weightless like an astronaut would feel. And they scream and they yell and they, do that again, do that again. 
I've never, I, I, <laughs> I've never had them say, don't do it. They just really enjoy it. And so those are the little things that happen with the first graders that I'll never, ever forget. I remember sitting there thinking, hey, he, he, let, he let somebody sit in the front next to him. So I got to make sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be one of the first ones out there to the plane when, he, when they get back. And I remember, um, you know, the plane landed, the kids got off, so the next group was able to go. And I remember taking off for the plane and, and uh, JB grabbed me and kind of pulled me off to the side. And I was thinking, oh boy, great. Now I have to sit in the back. And they loaded, it, loaded all the kids in the plane. And sure enough, I was lucky enough to, to sit right next to them in the front of the, of the cockpit and, and go for the flight. And it's just, I, I don't know, it was, it was just really something, I guess. Even words now, thinking back, can't even really describe the opportunity. Um, you know, it was something that everyone was just really excited about and get a chance to fly over, uh, fly over Hedinger and see where your house was at. And for a lot of us, it was that introduction to aviation, I guess. Um, you know, and over the years at Hedinger, now it, it's almost become kind of a rite of passage, I guess. It's something that a lot of the alum and, and kids for over the last 30 years have something in common, and everyone can relate to that, that first flight, that Air Dakota flight with J.B. Lindquist. So it's, uh, it's a pretty neat, pretty neat thing to be a part of. J.B.'s legendary commitment has earned him a place on the North Dakota Aeronautics Commission where he continues to serve today. And I was lucky enough to be appointed on that by Ed Schaefer in 1992, I believe. And I've been a member since then, and it's always been an enjoyable, it's been an enjoyable thing to, to do. And probably also you get to meet a whole lot of nice people. JB's talents and passion for aviation were not fostered in isolation, and JB does not hesitate to attribute his success to those around him. One of the people that has really deserved credit and has contributed to my aviation is my wife, Carol, of 42 years. She's the one that's been the mainstay and the, the one beside me and always supporting me all the time I've been flying. And then aside from her, I have three brothers, Carter, Chuck, and Chris, and they've always been supportive of me. Uh, my brother Chuck's works with me, and my brother Carter used to uh, fly with us, but he's decided that he has other things that he wants to do. And my brother Chris, uh, for many years, helped us as far as mixing chemical during the spray season and stuff like that. And I guess if I sat down, I could probably name another 25 or 30, but those are the ones that have really stood by me and put up with my uh, weird hours coming and going and being able to uh, say, yeah, we'll, we'll do it this way or we'll do it that way. And those 9, 30, 10 o'clock meals at night uh, have all uh, worked out okay. Aviation has changed JB, and likewise, he has changed aviation, as well as made the state of North Dakota better through his dedication to community service. JB's made aviation better for North Dakota by, by standing up for what he believes is right for keeping a down-to-earth approach to things, a common-sense approach. You know, we're mandated with so many rules and regulations, and there are times when you just have to stand up and say, this isn't for us, this doesn't fit aviation in North Dakota. And he's the kind of guy that does that. When once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to return. Thanks for the service, JB, and congratulations. It's just a, it's well, like I said earlier, it's a trip, it's a fun trip.